The most amazing thing about the internet is the seemingly endless amount of information that makes available to me at all times. Just today, I tried to understand some of the more advanced tenets of game theory and the exact timing of the Motion Picture Production Code's introduction in 1934. I also read all about these animals that have been charged with crimes. There we go. I know you come here for the brainy, thinky stuff, but sometimes you're listening to a podcast and you hear about a pig that's been put on trial and you try to file it away because it just seems too dumb for an episode, but then you think to yourself, yo, if I have a YouTube channel called This Exists and I can't talk about pigs that have been put on trial, why even bother? It had to be done a little after this famous procès of 1386 against a truie une truie qui avait déchiré le visage d'un enfant et cette truie a donc été condamnée et fait le même crime. I mean, if there's a TV special about this with subtitles, it can't be that dumb, right? And the fresco depicted there is famous for seemingly legitimizing the tale of a pig that was executed in human clothes in front of other pigs in order to set an example for pigs who were presumably also thinking about doing crime. Péché, le fait avait été affreux, la punition aussi allait être affreuse. Our friend, the man pig, is not alone. In fact, the first story of an animal being put on trial comes from 1266 when a French pig was accused of murder. This man will swear that his pig has already eaten two of its own litters, killed a newborn calf in front of its mother, and attacked a baby in the car. Is this not, Monseigneur, a malicious and criminal beast? Pig trials were actually so common back in the good old days that there is a wonderful Colin Firth movie about them called The Hour of the Pig, unfortunately released in America under the much more boring title The Advocate, which does not let the viewer know that you're going to get to watch Mr. Darcy defend a goddamn pig on murder charges. Died, and when it returned, it had blood on its mouth. This good citizen will testify to all of this. But pigs are not alone in their lust for crime, and these trials are not limited to the era of Colin Firth movies. In 2008, a Macedonian bear was convicted in absentia of stealing honey from a beekeeper. Bears of honey and I'm a poo bear, yum, 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 yum. Proving that Winnie the Pooh was in fact a documentary, the bear was ordered to pay $3,500, which it could not do, presumably because it was stuck in the honey tree. No hurry. Take your time. Yum, yum. In 1474, a Swedish rooster was put on trial for laying a yolkless egg. This was assumed by the townsfolk to be a product of Satan himself, likely to be used either for witchcraft or to birth a cockatrice, or deadly monster. Naturally, the rooster was convicted of witchcraft and burnt at the stake. Here are some other animals that have been charged with crimes. Leeches for being too plentiful, a monkey for assault, a donkey for bestiality. Mercifully, the donkey was actually let off after a local townsman testified to her all-around good character. And this has been the smartest episode of This Exists you've ever watched. <laughs> What do you think? Should animals be forced to stand trial for their crimes? What's the worst animal crime that you have ever been a victim of? Most recently, my wife was in a shop where there were two dogs and they both kept barfing and eating the barf and then barfing up the barf and then they'd like nuzzle up to her to be pet, which is basically like barf genocide. Subscribe for new episodes of This Exists every week. Let me know in the comments about the crime stuff and be excellent to each other.